Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to talk long-term pack review on these three packs. These are the three that I've been using for uh, this one a, a little over a year, this one for two years, and this one for a couple years as well too. But long-term, now that they've been used, let's see what you think of them kind of thing. So uh, we're going to start here um, basically right off the bat with this Kuyu because I've actually had it, um, this is the one that I use the most, I should say. Uh, this is a Kuyu Venture 2300. You guys have seen the review I did on this when I first got it. Um, this pack has been incredible. Now keep in mind, on these compression straps that are on here, um, I carry my sticks and my stands on this, okay? So I have my, my stand, you've seen in other videos, I have my tree stand and then I have my sticks on my stand and I strap that whole setup to these compression straps on the outside and lock them in. And these are showing absolutely zero wear. There is no rub marks from that stand on here, no scuffing, no anything. This pack is held up incredible. It's regularly carrying gear-wise with my gear, my sticks, my stands, my harness, my binos, water, uh, some snacks, my gear, everything I need in there. It's regularly carrying about 40 pounds of gear, 40 to 50 pounds of gear. And uh, I probably have done 30 miles, I'm guessing, uh, total time with this pack on my back. And it has been through a lot. When I first got this pack, the first trip I did with it was taking it out to North Georgia in the mountains in February. And I had, I was out there for three days. The first day was pure rain. And I slipped and fell on top of this thing so many times. And then the next two days were freezing rain and snow. And I did the same. I fell so many times. If you guys remember back to then, that was when I went out after that trip. I bought that, started wearing uh, bino harnesses because I was so tired of my, you know, my, my Swarovski 10 by 42s getting covered in mud from me falling so much. Well, that was with this pack on. This pack has been through a lot of crap. Drug up and down trees, beat up, you know, it's been through a lot and it has held up phenomenal. Um, so, not only, I mean, I knew it would because I've had the other Kuyu Icon Pro uh, 1850, which is basically the same kind of thing. This is just a bigger version with an actual integrated frame or, you know, internal frame and integrated straps where the Icon Pro had its own sub suspension system. But this pack is, uh, is, I can honestly say, without a doubt, as far as a day pack goes, I consider it a day pack because you cannot load sling this out and put meat in there. It's not designed for carrying meat. It can do it, um, but it's not designed to. There is no actual external frame on this like there is on that Mystery Ranch. So considering that, that this is what I call a day pack, I can honestly 100% without fail say that this is the best day pack I have ever used, period. Hands down, two years of this pack, and I can say without fail, absolute best pack that I've, best day pack uh, that I have ever used. I straight up love it. And like I said, two years of a lot of abuse and a lot of use and carrying a lot of weight, and it does not have a mark. If I wanted to, I could put the tag back on this and return it as brand new. That is saying something uh, for a pack. You, even at Icon Pro, um, you know, I ripped through the things in there. I, I beat it up pretty good in the, the three years I used that. This pack, again, at Icon Pro, is a great pack too. Joe, one of my is one of my photographers, very good friend of mine, a hunting partner. He still uses that pack to, to this day, that same exact one. I gave it to him, and he's running it and loves it. This pack, though, as far as a day pack goes, hands down, without fail, indestructible, absolutely amazing. I cannot say enough good things about it. This is a Kuyu Venture 2300. It is still available today, and it is straight up amazing. That's I, I cannot say enough good things about it. Every single part of it is held up absolutely fantastic, as you can tell. No excessive wear. There are definitely some stains on it, um, but no excessive wear to it. Like I said, no straps that are having problems, no buckle issues, no zipper problems. I wrench on these zippers all the time. I beat this thing like you wouldn't believe, and it has held up absolutely incredible. This pack has been straight up phenomenal. So that's the Venture 2300. Cannot recommend it enough. Best day pack I have ever used. Um, and again, I did a video review on it, so feel free to go watch that if you want to see how it is. But it fits well. It compresses down very small. It's got amazing pocket structure. The compression strap setup on it I love because I can actually lock my sticks in my stands on these outside ones, but they still give me, this is brilliant, straight up brilliant. 
they give me another set right here so even though I can have my sticks and stands on there I can actually have a heavy load in here where I'm expanded or big load jackets things like that have it expanded out or I can still compress that pack down without having to worry about my sticks and stands or still wherever I put this at absolute pure genius brilliant design nobody does pocket layout pocket design better than Kuyu nobody I don't care who they are I don't care how much money you spend on it no offense to anything like that but for me and my setup what I like nobody has a better pack layout out there than what this Kuyu Venture 2300 is it's the same design it was on my um, Icon Pro 1850 and as I said then that was the best that I've ever seen then and I feel exactly the same about this best setup ever in a day pack or in a backpack of any kind best layout for us as mobile tree stand hunters in my opinion and they do give you a handle okay remember how many times i've complained about that you know not having handles on backpacks i need to hang this thing from a tree okay they give me a handle right there so i can hang this in a tree stand so many packs today don't put a handle on there it, it pisses me off this pack amazing okay so moving on from that one takes us to the mystery ranch <clears throat> this is the mystery ranch pintler um, and uh, this one I, I used this whole, oh, I used it half of last year after I did bought it, did the review, showed you guys. They have the same, a uh, Pintler is still available. It does have uh, a slight variation now. It's a little newer version. Um, I think they went to a 300D Super Cordura, so I can't, com or I can't comment on that. But knowing Mystery Ranch, I'm sure it's amazing because Mystery Ranch is a contractor for military, they're a contractor for EMS, for firefighters, for all kinds of things. And the people that use a Mystery Ranch pack, other than backpackers and hikers and hunters, but the people that use it professionally, they need these things to work for them and they crush them. They beat them on levels that you can't believe. And Mystery Ranch would never make anything not durable. I would venture to say that they are in the top one, two, or three, because I haven't tried every one of those commercial professional versions of their packs, but I would say that they're up there as far as some of the strongest packs that have ever been made in history. That's where I would put it at. Again, maybe arguably, maybe just my opinion, but in my opinion, I would venture to say that that's legit. But this is a Mystery Ranch Pintler model. I got it uh, halfway through last season, did a review on it, which you can find on my channel, used it that whole last half of that season and then this year as soon as I started doing my out-of-state hunts I switched to this pack because it is an external frame so I can actually take this apart and I can load sling meat between here and have the meat and stuff on this and still carry the pack so I do love this pack a lot. Um, my only gripe on it is that they don't give you a handle, but they do have the crossbar right here that you can see in the frame. So what I did is I put this strap and a carabiner on there so I can still hang it from a tree. This is held up incredible. I grab it by this all the time and I, I lift it by that as part of the frame, but it is super strong. Um, I mean, it works. So I'm very, very happy with this pack. Comfort wise, it's amazing. I did not have to pack any deer out in this pack this year, uh, where I have, I've packed like six or eight with my EXO pack, which was, did phenomenal. This I have done the 80 and 100 pounds worth of sandbags in it around my subdivision, very happy with it, carries a load very well, but I have not actually packed a deer out in it. But this pack has taken a lot of abuse. Um, not only, you know, even though I only wear it on those out of state trips, those trips are very hard on these things. Again, I'm carrying the sticks and stands, and this has the same concept as that Kuyu, where I have these straps right here to lock my sticks and stands on for two of them. Oh, look at we have here, another one. An actual adjustable compression strap that lets me cinch that thing right down while I still have my sticks and stands on there. Who would have thought? What a simple concept. I don't know why more companies don't do this. These every, for, for a whitetail hunter, this system, double compression straps on the front, Okay, right here to carry our sticks and our stands. These straps right here are straight up mandatory. And a handle is mandatory. I've done videos on it. Anybody that gets away from that stuff, you've lost whitetail hunters. We don't care. We don't want your stuff if it doesn't have these. Have these on here. There is a reason that backpacks for the past 70 years had a compression strap, double compression strap on the front, the way to tie them down on the back. Everybody wants to reinvent the wheel. Stop it. This system works. Okay, don't get away from it. I love this setup. Um, with that said, this pack has had the sticks and stands on there, again, plus extra water because I'm doing all day sits out there and stuff like that. You're talking probably 50, 50 pounds of gear in this. 
And before you guys come on and go, oh my god, you carry 50 pounds of stuff to whitetail hunt. Yes, I do. I have, you know, 20 pounds of sticks and stands. Uh, I got a harness. I got a lineman belt. I have my binoculars. I have all my clothes to change from when it's 20 degrees in the morning and it's 70 degrees in the evening or in the afternoon and goes back down to 20. I want enough water to cover the fact that I'm paddling, you know, I'm hiking 800 yards down to a river, getting in a boat, paddling down a mile, getting out, hiking in another mile. I want water. I want food. I want an extra pop. I want stuff with me. And I have the room in here, so I'm going to carry it. So yes, there are times that I'm carrying, you know, 50 pounds of stuff with me 45 pounds of stuff with me this pack with that stuff in especially in Kansas where I hunt I am not able to get down these steep riverbanks if you watch my Kansas vlog hunt you see the banks and the places we're at that means that I'm holding on to a tree with this in one hand leaning down as far as I can and I'm dropping this on the bank letting it hit and bounce and roll into the canoe with the sticks and stands on there um, or I'm sliding it down with my rope on there and letting it slide and run right down that bank and lowering it into the canoe. Uh, and then there was one time in here that I'm not proud of that I got back to where we parked the canoes at. And it was a cut, just a narrow cut about this wide and about this deep of a cut in a bank where a little creek could come in. But it was very narrow shaped about like that, literally that size, just big enough to almost fit a canoe in and muddy bottom and a pain in the butt. Well, you had to climb up the bank with it and get in there. Long story short, I was sitting there and I was coming in and as I was dragging my boat with all this stuff on my back but pulling the boat up, I slipped twice and I banged my knee on this rock two different times. Once, boom, I was mad. Then I went to pull the boat again and my foot slipped and I did the same exact thing and then I got really pissed. Um, and then I started throwing things around a little bit because I was, I was pretty mad. Um, and while this had to get, I had to climb up that bank out of that little trench that was up there. I took the pack with the sticks and stands off of me in my pissed off rage and just threw it as hard as I could up there thinking I could get it up on top of the bank. And again, I'm mad. So I was frustrated and, you know, acting like an idiot. It hit but didn't make it all the way up. Rolls all the way down five feet to me, smashes into my boat. I reach up, grab it. Now I'm even more mad. Pull it behind, throw it up there again. In, it didn't make it comes rolling back down now I'm screaming really loud I grab it and I did the same thing again that time it almost made it but stopped far enough up that I would I couldn't reach it so then I had nothing better to do but just sit down on the corner of my boat take a deep breath and realize what an idiot I am but this pack held up to that these straps held up to that completely 20 pounds of sticks and stands on these things and I'm whipping them over my head, smashing them into a bank and watching it roll down with the sticks and stands and everything on there, it has held up phenomenal. So durability wise, quality wise, absolutely incredible. Plus this pack has fallen out of the tree once too when I was in Missouri. Okay, you, I hooked them all on my tree stand with the carabiner like this on the on the bat wing of my tree stand. Okay, well I went to pull that off, cold fingers, I grabbed it from this, unhooked it, went to pull it off and the whole thing just went right to the ground, boom. Um, it, so this pack has been beat up pretty bad. It's been beat pretty bad. It's been amazing. I love this pack. I'm, I could never fault it in any way. And uh, again, you could, you could basically put a tag back on it and take it back after even all that and return it and not notice it. So as far as the quality of this thing, absolutely amazing. I, will I buy another Mystery Ranch pack? You betcha. I'll buy it all day long. Um, would I have any doubts of this pack? Not even a little bit. Would I worry about any durability, quality? Not even a little bit. Size, function, absolutely perfect. Again, things that every pack should have. Um, I love it. So that's my long-term review on this for a year and a half of using it for hunting. Honestly, straight up phenomenal. Cannot say enough good things about it. You're looking for a Mystery Ranch pack? I can't say enough good things about them, and I will highly buy from them again, too. Now, my Exo pack, which I don't have out here, you guys have seen reviews on, is another amazing pack, um, but they changed it. They changed the frame design. They changed a lot of stuff to it that I don't know what the new one is like. It's not the same pocket configurations. Um, it's a different frame. They went from titanium to aluminum, and I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying I don't have one of the new ones that are now available to you, so I didn't even bring it out here. But Axo is an amazing pack company. I'm sure that pack's phenomenal too. Um, and it served me very well. But for these ones that I have and am currently using that are, like I said, available, Mystery Ranch cannot knock this Pintler at all. Absolutely just an awesome pack. I did a review on it. Excellent layout. Great pack. Now, the last one, this one right here, Camelback. This one I think is still available in different colors. Um, you know, it may not be the exact same color, but it is available. This is the Mule LR. I don't know if the LR model is, but I've had like eight or nine of these Mule packs. Okay, that's the reason I bought it. 
I used them for snowmobiling all the time for like eight straight years. Um, I used them for mountain biking. I used them for everything you can imagine and they have held up just phenomenal. This particular pack that you see right here is my pig hunting pack. Okay, This pack, um, and you've seen it in many other videos, but this pack, I'll bet I have 65 to 70 miles of hiking with this thing on through Georgia swamps, South Carolina swamps, all over the place. This thing has been through, and I'm not talking about just walking trails. I mean, this thing has been in some of the nastiest briar bushes areas. I mean, this has been in, in South Carolina. This was in some of the, the, the worst river cane swamps that you could imagine with everything jabbing into it, hooking on it, me snagging constantly. Um, I mean, it has been through a lot. Burrs, briars, rose hip, you name it, everything is ripped at this thing. And this pack is held up phenomenal. So um, this one, like I said, a couple years old. I think I've had this now three or four years I'm going on. And, uh, and it's amazing. All camel backpacks are that way. They are lightweight. They are built to take the abuse. And this is a perfect example of that. So if you're looking for something smaller than one of those other packs, lightweight something, especially a pig hunting pack, mountain biking pack, snowboarding, skiing, snowmobiling, anything like that, Anything Camelback is straight up amazing. I mean, I've been using them, like I said, for 30 years. I've been using Camelback packs. Never once have I had one ever rip, break, a buckle fail. I've never had anything ever happen with a Camelback pack. This one here, no different. Long-term review on this one, 10, 10 thumbs up. Thing's amazing, straight up amazing. And I would expect it to be. That's the reason I buy them is because I'm expecting this kind of quality out of them. That's the reason I buy every one of these. I would never have bought this if I didn't do the research on it and honestly believe this is one of the toughest packs out there. I would have never bought the original Kuyu Icon Pro if I didn't think it was a great pack. And when I found out it was a great pack and I loved it but wanted more, I went and bought the Venture 2300, which I would have never bought if I didn't have that experience. So every one of these brands, every one of these packs, that I did reviews on, and I told you then how great they were, I 100% stand behind it today too. I cannot fault one of these under any circumstances for anything. So there you go, a little pack update for you. Thanks for watching.